Cardiff Arms Park. A win for England will bring home the coveted Triple Crown. For Wales in red, victory in rugby is almost a patriotic duty. But within five minutes, Alastair Hignell kicks England into a 3-0 lead. Scrum half Gareth Edwards starts a move for Wales. With the wind against them, Wales are struggling to control the game. But a penalty gives that man Hignell another chance with his boot. 6-0. Nothing succeeds like success. With six points under their belts, England's confidence grows. It's a line-out. Then in the 27th minute, the Welsh Dragons springs a surprise. Gareth Edwards goes over. 6-4. But Wales miss the conversion and England stay in front. What was predicted as an indifferent game suddenly becomes a sizzler. The Welsh crowd sense that all is by no means lost. Then Wales take a penalty. 6-7. Now Wales are in the lead. At half-time, the Welsh team face the cheerful prospect of playing with the win. But soon after the change round, England snatch a penalty. Three more points puts them back in front. Phil Bennett, the Welsh captain, makes a glorious run. Like battering rams, the scrums crash down. Though they're trailing, Wales are playing like winners. Then the seesaw scoring starts again. Out of a penalty, Fennick makes it 10-9. Wales back on top, but only just. Try as they might, England can do nothing to sway the game. Seven minutes to go. Then comes the clincher. Welsh fullback JPR Williams takes a pass from David Bircher, and Wales are five points ahead. That's the way it stays until full time. The dragon has beaten the lion. Wales 14, England 9.